Hi everybody, this is Anthony from allinorbit.com and I'm going to show you how to insert an image into a WordPress page. So we're looking at a WordPress page here and we want to insert an image at the top right of the page in this white space. So I'm already logged into the admin section so I see this WordPress admin bar across the top of the page. First thing I do is click edit page now in order to place the image at the top right, we want to put our cursor at the top of the page on the first line. Then immediately following the upload slash insert text, the first icon is the add an image icon. So when you click that, we'll get the add an image pop-up. In this case, the file is on my local machine, so I'll upload an image file. Once that's done, you'll see some options for that image. The first option is the title. This is used in, the, in WordPress to help you identify the image. So later when you're looking for the image, you might want to search by the title. So in this case, Waterfall is, is a perfectly fine title. The alternate text is text that is shown when the image can't be shown. So if someone's using a browser that can't render images, they'll see the alternate text instead. And this includes search engines. Search engines can't see images, so they look at the alternate text. So it's pretty important that you include it. This is a waterfall in Montana, so we'll just write that. Next is the caption. Caption actually appears on the page. It is an optional field, so if you don't include it, there will be no caption. But if you do, the caption will appear immediately below the image. In this case, it seems like a fitting caption would be the same as the alternate text. Next is your description. Description is another thing that's used to help you remember the image, and it, it just allows you to describe the image a little more thoroughly. In this case, we don't really need it, so we'll leave it blank. Next is the link URL field. By default, this will link to the full-size image. Now, the reason it does this is because if you're inserting a thumbnail, by default the thumbnail will be clickable and when you click that thumbnail you'll see the full size image so that's pretty neat. You could always replace this with a website so if you wanted an image to click through to a website you would just put the URL here. In this case we don't want the image to be clickable so we'll just clear that field. Next is the alignment. We have four options none, left, center, and right. We're going to want to align it right, so we choose right. Immediately following is the size field. We have thumbnail, large, and full size. And these options might differ depending on your theme. In this case, our theme allows us to have a medium thumbnail as well. So that seems pretty fitting, and we'll go with that option. Once everything looks right, we want to insert the image into the post by clicking the insert into post button. And now in our visual editor we'll see the image on the top right of the page with the caption that we provided. I'll publish this page and then view it on the front end. And voila! There's our image at the top right. It is not clickable and it shows our caption immediately following. Now note that it might look a little different depending on your theme. Some themes will display captions in a different manner. In this case, I don't really want a caption. It's not necessary. This is more of a visual aspect to the site and we don't really need to describe it. So I'm going to edit this page again. And in the visual editor, I'm going to click on the image. Once you click the image, you'll see at the top left there are these two icons. The first icon is the edit icon, the second is delete. So I just want to edit this image. Now we see the edit image panel and we see the title, alternate text, and caption. In this case we just want to remove the caption so we'll go ahead and do that. One thing to note is that there is an advanced setting tab at the top. Within this are some advanced settings that you can use to further customize the image placement. 
we've already done what we wanted, so we click update. And notice that the caption disappears. We can once again publish the page. And there you have it. Now we've gotten rid of that white space and really livened up the look of this page. That's it for now. See you next time.